So today we're going to have a look at uh, shooting glasses and for me that's that's one of the essentials when it comes to safety on the range. Um, always bring your eyes and ears and not only when you're firing your own gun but also when you're watching others shooting. Uh, you really do want to protect your eyes. Um, but protecting your eyes, you, you can get that for uh, a good pair of shooting glasses, maybe not good, but at least a, a pair of shooting glasses that does the job of protecting your eyes for probably around $20. And that's not what we're going to have a look at today. Today we're going to have a look at the more premium end, both in terms of price, but also in terms of quality when it comes to shooting glasses. So this is maybe more towards the professional audience than the recreational shooter. So we're going to have a look at a brand that I had not heard about before I uh, went into shooting and it's a brand called Pila. We have two different models here, the more um, commonly used models, at least here in Norway where I use and in action shooting, which is what I do. And these are really, really expensive glasses and uh, I remember the first time a friend of mine uh, showed me his glasses and I, I took them on and I said, wow, that's amazing what do they cost and, and he said basically you, you don't want to know that because it's just tremendously expensive but if you're if you're a professional shooter uh, obviously one of the most important senses you have is, is your eyes um, and if you don't want to compromise on quality Pila is, is probably the, the way to go um, but given the high cost I also wanted to show you a really really good alternative still in the high end um, when it comes to shooting glasses but a little bit more nicely priced uh, without compromising too much of the quality. So we're going to have a look at uh, both Pila and Castellani here today. So if we start with the, with the boxing, you, you can see here uh, from Pila, it's a really, really high-end box. Uh, looks amazing and it's really built to protect your glasses. Um, on the inside, um, it's, it's basically just a box. Um, there's no kind of like compartments or anything. Um, but it, it's really rugged and it even comes with a, a key that you can, can, can lock the box as well. Uh, it comes in different colors and different, um, different looks depending on what type of glass you have. Uh, and I really like the quality and the premium feel of this box. You, <laughs> and it's nice when you spend more than a thousand dollars on a pair of glasses, you, you get that premium feel and it will make a really good job of protecting your glasses, uh, making sure that they're not broken when you're transporting them back in uh, for to the range. Then you have the Castellani um, edition. So this is more of a soft styrofoam type of interior and it's a waterproof box and it takes up a little bit more space in your shooting bag but not a whole lot. Um, but when you open it up you can see that the setup is a little bit different than Pila. So where Pila just have the, um, the, the box with no compartments, what Castellani has done is that it's a little bit, and that's my personal preference, it's a little bit better organized. Um, so in the Pila you would just have everything in one compartment, while here you will have the frame, you will have the optical insert, you have a little room where you can have kind of like your, your cloth and maybe a spray or something like that, and you have four different cutouts for the lenses. Um, we'll get back to talk about the lenses, but I like the way that this is organized because for me when I'm doing um, practical shooting, often you don't have that uh, amount of time when you're shooting between stages and you need to reload magazines and everything. But here I've organized this from fully transparent to very, very dark. So I know very easily if the sun comes in from a different angle or anything, I can just jump right down and pick the glass that I like without having to read uh, what's written on the lens covers itself. So it doesn't have the same premium feel as Pila, but for me this is better organized and even if it takes up a little bit more room in my uh, shooting bag, uh, this is probably my preference. Having said that, this actually also comes as an option for Pila. So you can buy this type of setup for Pila, but that would be an additional cost. So if we, if we start to look at the frames, and, and that's probably where, where these type of glasses are a little bit different, is that it's, it's, it's more loose components. Um, so I'll, I'll unpack them here and I'll, I'll put them next to each other. And what you will notice is that the, the Pila Panther, which is uh, the one I have here, is very similar to the Castellani um, 
let me move things a little bit around so you will get a better look. Um, so this would be the Pila Panther. Um, this is the Castellani, uh, and I'll show you, it's it's very similar principle. And this would be the Outlaw, and it's a little bit weird unpacking this because it's actually just two pieces, um, like this. And that's because of a, it's a little bit of a different pattern. Um, in terms of frames, I would say, uh, I, I personally like the Pila Panther a lot, and I'll get back to some of the reasons for that, but mainly because I use a uh, optical insert when I shoot, and they have a really good solution for that. So all of these glasses can do optical inserts. When it comes to the patent uh, with the Pila, you can actually um, swap out these bars. So you can decide if you'd like a fork, which goes really wraps nicely around your your head like this one, or if you more like a straight bar. And you can also adjust the length. Um, with the Castellani, uh, they come in different versions. There's two different versions. Um, this one, uh, it's solid, so you, you cannot adjust this one. It has a little bit of adjustment here that you can bend this one, but it's more it's more set like you like you see it versus the, the Pila Panther, which you can actually change these ones. Um, <clears throat> with the Outlaw, um, it's it has a real nice uh, it's a carbon feel to it and you also have the forks and, and this, this is also obviously things that you can exchange if you want to go more with the uh, with the straight bar uh, like with the Castellani. Um, the Castellani has a version so this is actually called C Mask 2. They have a version which is called C Mask 1, um, which uh, is a little bit of a slimmer bar here. Uh, this actually is is what I, I don't like with them. It's it's very wide here. Um, you won't feel that when it's on, but it just looks a little bit weird. That's my personal personal preference. Um, but they have a different version called C Mask 1, which has a straight bar, and it has this bow that goes around your ear on the back. Um, and uh, it's a little bit more narrow, so this is a little bit more wider. So for my thick head, it's it's probably a better fit, and that's why I would probably go with the C Mask 2 instead of the C Mask 1. Uh, but that's actually also an alternative um, that you can go with. Um, so the way that this works, and I'll uh, start here with explaining the um, the Panther, uh, which is very similar to um, to the Castellani in the terms of how it works, um, is that you just snap it on. The way that you, you do that is that uh, you just start on one side, and it's actually like buttons, um, and you just snap them on one after the other until it's fully on. The first time I saw it, it's like, okay, so you're you're actually you're using buttons to uh, attach the glass, but that's actually a really nice patent. It it works really really well, and I'm very happy with this solution. Um, so that's the way it works with um, the Pila Panther uh, with the Castellani, and I'll use a similarly tinted glass here, um, and we'll get back to what it's written on the. On the lens pouches but this one is actually called light brown and it works in the very same way you just start on one side and you just button it on like that and then with the Pila Outlaw um, as you've obviously already understood it's a little bit of a different system and the way that this works is that you there's a little um, little like pin here and you just slide it in there, tilt it a little bit, and then you push here. And we do the same on the other side as well. There we go. So now you have the three different type of glasses all assembled. Um, and as you can see, they're a little bit differently shaped in terms of the lenses. If we do like this then. I know for rifle shooters, this is a very, very good option, and it's, it's a very preferred option. Um, and the reason for that is that you have nothing above here. So if you need to lie down and, and, and peek to a scope, there's nothing hindering your vision. And I would say, uh, from these three glasses, this one would be the best one if you want a completely uh, open field of view. Uh, when you take this on, 
you don't see kind of like any light leaking in and any obstacle. It's it's really really good in terms of covering your face, but it's it's huge, I would say. So both that you can get a um, if you wear a cap when you're shooting. Um, because it's so high, it can get in the way of your, your cap. Um, it's not a huge problem for me, but I heard people having a problem with that. For the Pila Panther X6 Post, um, it's, a, it's not that high. Um, you have the bar in the top. Personally, I'm also a rifle shooter and I, I don't have any issues with this because you can adjust the nose piece. So you can adjust the nose piece so that the glasses are high enough to not, uh, so that you don't see this bar even when peeking through a scope uh, lying down. <clears throat> and it's, it's more aggressively cut, I would see. You can see it coming really, um, there's a slope here going really down to the nose and um, a little bit of a different style. The Castellani looks very different. It's almost the same cut you can see. What you will notice, and maybe not here, but when you bend the glass, you will see that the Castellani one has a more aggressive cut going inwards toward your cheek. Um, I was a little bit skeptical about that in the beginning because when you have a good tight cheek wield on your, uh, on your rifle or on your shotgun, I was afraid that my cheek would actually lift the glass but it doesn't and obviously every face is different but it has a quite aggressive cut here as well so even when I have a nice tight cheek weld I will not be bothered by lifting the glass but actually what I do like about the Castellani and when I'm talking about comparing it against the, the Panther X6 is that this inwards like you see here it, it's going towards your cheek actually don't let in that amount of light that I experienced while using the Panther X6. So this is going more straight down, a little bit bent inwards, but it's going a little bit more straight down. And what I notice is that um, it's not that it lets the light directly into your eyes, but it will let in more of a light. So I, I notice more of a light coming in here. With the Outlaw, that's not really an issue. The Outlaw is like this big mask that just covers your whole Maybe not your whole face, but at least the whole part surrounding your eyes. So, so that's not going to be an, be an issue here. So I mentioned that I shoot with optical inserts when I'm shooting. And I wanted to explain to you how that system works on these three different editions. So starting with the, um, with the Outlaw over here. Um, I heard and I'm recommended that the best option for uh, shooting with... Um, with um, optical inserts would be the Panther. And I also hear from someone that it would be, if you're doing action shooting, it, it would actually be the be the Outlaw. And I'll tell you a little bit of what, uh, what people have told me and, and what my own experience is. So for the Outlaw, um, actually you have a, a kind of a snap on, and I, I'm sorry I don't have that optical insert here for the Outlaw, but you have a, a kind of like a, um, an optical insert that you just snap on to this little plastic rubbery thing on the top here. So it will actually almost be like glued. Obviously it's not glued, it's just attached to this, um, this bar up here. Um, and uh, it will sit, stick to the, uh, to the lens. Um, what I've heard about that is that the pros of that will be, it's completely attached to the lens. So even if you move around a lot, um, the lens or the optical insert will follow the movement of the lens. The cons is obviously that when you're when you're uh, detaching the glasses, you obviously also, when you're changing uh, to a different tinted lens, you also need to remove the optical insert and insert it back into the other lens. So it's, it's one more step when it comes to changing quickly uh, between the different lenses you have. With the Pila Panther and the Castellani, uh, the patent is a little bit different and if you have an optical insert make sure that you order if you go for Pila you need to order the one called post and the reason why it's called post is that you have this little bar in between here and what I like to do especially on these glasses which I which is actually not mine uh, is that I always remove the glass first be before doing this because I don't want to scratch these glasses uh, it's really expensive glasses and I want to be really careful when handling them so what I do here with the uh, with the Pila is that you, you have the optical insert here and you just take it like this and you just show it straight up. 
And you can then, as I mentioned, adjust the height. So the further down you go, the higher the uh, glasses will sit on your nose. And you can then just adjust this. Um, and I was a little bit skeptical uh, at first because you can see it moving around quite a bit here. Uh, but once you attach the glasses, that's not going to be an issue. So now that we've attached the optical insert, you can just then again attach the glass. And I also heard that one of the drawbacks actually with this solution, which is both the solution that the Castellani and the, uh, the PLO Pantry uses, is that uh, as you can see the glass will rest on the lens on the inside. So you will get marks after some usage on the lens. Does that really have anything to say? Uh, probably not because you will never be able to see them because if you use this uh, the mark in the lens will be uh, on the back. So that's the that's the patent for um, the Pila Panther and for the Castellani it's the exact same thing so almost like I don't need to demo it. What Castellani do have which I like is that they have this little screw here sticking out which means that even if there's a little bit of movement it's not going to move around to the same extent that you saw the Pila Panther doing. But once you connect it it's the exact same thing and it will rest on the back side of the glasses. Now what this does is that it also moves the lens a little bit outwards from, um, uh, from your face. Um, and with the Castellani, what I, what I noticed there is that because it has this bow, it, it's almost like it goes a little bit back into your face again. So your nose still sticks out while with the Panther, which has a more straight lens going down, that means that um, it, it, the whole like glasses seems to come a little bit further out from your face. It's more cosmetical. I mean, if you, I don't know if you really care about that, but it's one thing I noticed as well. So now we're, I want to talk a little bit about the lenses. So the lenses here are really, really high end. Um, and Pila has a partnership with Zeiss, uh, which are I would assume very proud of because they print it everywhere. Uh, that's, uh, and you know size optics, uh, I have size optics myself on, on some of my rifles and it, uh, you just know, you, yes you pay a lot but you know that it's kind of like this premium stamp that it's, it's as clear as, it's, uh, as it gets. Interesting fact is that the Castellani one actually used to have size optics but apparently and I don't know but this is what I heard, uh, Pila didn't like that a lot um, and there were some lawsuits involved. So now Castellani do not have the size um, partnership uh, that you will get with Pila. What does that mean? Well, honestly, uh, you can read a lot about it on their, their webpage, but apparently it's more optically correct. Um, can you feel a difference? I'm not sure. Um, my eyes, I use optical inserts that I anyway lead, need to look through. I'm not 20 years old anymore. Um, so me personally, no, I could not feel any uh, big difference, uh, maybe besides the placebo effect between the Castellani and um, the Pila glasses. But if you're 20 years old, you have perfect vision, that might very well be the case that you will do that. So you will feel a difference between these lenses. Um, the lens here uh, from Pila comes in a pouch, and I'll show you that now, like this. And they have, I don't know the amount, but they have a large selection of different glasses depending on what type of weather condition you're shooting in. Uh, what you will notice is that they name their lenses with a number and some sort of um, uh, letters behind. The number tells you something about how much light does a lens let through, which means that a 99 uh, would probably be a fully transparent lens while a 10 would be a very very dark lens only letting in about 10% of the total light. What I can say about Pila, really really high-end quality feel to it um, and it should be because of that price and it's, it's very very clear. Having said that I also have the same experience with the Castellani. Um, the way that they have sold it is a little bit more common tongue language where 
they don't have these numbers, but they do have this uh, pouch here, which is uh, not the same quality as this. If, if you had Oakley glasses every uh, once you, you will uh, feel this very nice um, texture, uh, which is probably why you, you can use this to clean your glasses as well. It's not the same quality feel here for the pouch for the Castellani one, but it's very easy to understand what type of lens am I actually holding here. So this would be a light brown, I can use another example which would be grey, uh, so a, a fully uh, grey lens. Um, so I don't know if it has anything to say, but this is a very dark lens. Uh, from the Castellani one, which is probably more when you're shooting against direct sunlight. So, and you, you can actually see it also here printed when you go for the, the Panther, Panther edition, you can see that it's printed uh, on this button, I don't know if you can see this, but the button in the middle, you can see the name printed as well. But as I mentioned in the introduction talking about the boxes, I like uh, the solution that Castellani has, at least in terms of the setup of the boxes. And it's also very easy. I mean, you will obviously start to learn that 45mx is this lens, so it, it's not that it takes you a whole lot more time, but I, I like the setup of the box of the Castellani a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about how does the feel and I want to say that um, this would probably be very individual how these glasses would feel on your face but at least my preferences or, or my experience having used these glasses would be that um, I really like the way that the Pila fits to your head and the way it feels on your face. Uh, I think that's a little bit about how these bars really um, they really offload some of the weight of the glass from your nose um, because it's it almost like it sticks to your uh, to your head. Um, so the first thing I noticed when I used uh, first the Pila Panther, which is the first one I got, uh, and I then took on the Castellani, was that <clears throat> my immediate instinct was that wow, the Castellani glasses weighs a bit more. Uh, not a bit more. I mean, it's not like it feels heavy or anything on your on your nose, but it, I could feel the weight of the glasses pushing down more than I could with the Pila one. Um, so I, I took out the weight and I I I, I, I weighed it, um, and to my surprise, the Castellani glasses is actually lighter than the Pila glasses. But it doesn't really feel that. Uh, feels like that when you when you have it on your head because the Pila one I think it's because it really grips your head so it offloads um, the weight of your nose piece uh, so it feels better wearing the Pila than it does with the Castellani which adds a little bit more weight on your nose um, so from a comfort perspective I would definitely recommend the Pila one um, when it comes to the way that the optic, uh, optical lens shields your eyes, um, I would say that I would probably rank them uh, like this. So I would say that um, the Outlaw, which almost feels a little bit like a welding mask when wearing it because, <laughs> because it is just so huge. Um, I would say that the Outlaw uh, does a really good job in terms of not letting any light in and you just see the lens or you don't see the lens depending on what type of glass you wear. I would then say that on a good second place you have the Castellani, which I think because of that it, the glass is bent a little bit backwards. It does a really good job of not letting anything li any light in. And it's not that I had any problems with the Panther. It's more that what I saw is that because of it has a really aggressive cut here, and it's it's not going inwards towards your chin, I feel that it lets in more light and underneath, kind of like where your cheek is. It's not that that light hit your eyes, but it's just that the difference then, if you have a very dark lens, the difference between that light coming in and the dark lens was a little bit disturbing. That's That's at least what I found. So now I wanted to talk about price and as I told about your st the story about when I first tried uh, that was actually the Outlaw that my, my friend has on I thought wow I want this this was excellent uh, the quality the premium feel the clarity of the lens I want a pair of these 
And he said, well, you don't want to know what they cost. And I was thinking, well, how bad can it be? It's not like a, a Louis Vuitton or Prada type of lens, uh, even if Pila and Size is a premium brand. Uh, and he told me that this lens or this pair of glasses with three lenses will set you back $1,000. And, and that's a lot of money. Um, the lens, uh, so if you want additional lenses, uh, will set you back $200 uh, for the Pila ones. <clears throat> what I don't like about uh, the way that Pila, at least on their official website, uh, sell these is that they have put together predefined packages of lenses. So you, you need to select a package uh, which comes with three predefined lenses. And it might not be that those lenses would be the lenses that you want because you might sh shoot in a different type of weather condition or you might have uh, different preferences when it comes to the clarity and the, the tint on the lens. So. Um, what I would say is that I would personally, if you're going to buy Pila, go with a dealer that gives you the option to select what type of three glasses that comes in your $1,000 package. And those dealers are out there and if you just go online and you look up Pila dealers, you will find a dealer that allows you to select uh, the three lenses that you want. I would say that you probably, even if there are different dealers out there, you're probably not going to found, find these here on some sort of sale unless there's something crazy going on on Black Friday or something like that. Uh, these are authorized dealers and I've never seen them on sale. So yes, $1,000 for the Pila Outlaw. If you need a optical correction um, and you're going with the, the Pila Panther, um, it would be uh, $1,238. Uh, US dollars for these ones uh, with the optical insert and if you're not doing the optical insert it will be $850 um, and here also you have $200 additional for the lenses. For the Castellani uh, Seamask 2 uh, which is the edition I have here that will set you back $450 uh, US dollars for a setup with three lenses. Here you can select your three lenses so it doesn't come predefined so you can select uh, even um, not depending where you buy them you can select the three lenses. Um, if you need additional lenses it's $80 and it's $55 for the optical insert that you put in here. So in summary a thousand dollars for a standard three lens setup and two hundred dollars additional uh, for the Pila ones. And the Castellani, 450 for the three lenses uh, and $55 for the optical insert and $80 for the lenses. So in summary, if I were to select a setup that I would select out of my preferences, which would be the, the, the frame, it would be a optical insert and it would be four lenses where I usually go with a fully transparent lens and then I work my way up to a very very dark lens. Uh, so you probably have a uh, transparent, you have a light brown, a medium brown and a grey, at least if I use the definition that Castellani uses. Uh, that would set me back with the Pila for that setup and I'm not counting what you would need to pay your optician for uh, making sure that the, the, the optical insert suits your eyes. Um, so the, the Pila would set you back uh, 1450 US dollars for this uh, edition here and the Castellani would set you back $585 which is less than half the price. So then I guess it boils down to are you willing to spend $1450 um, dollars for a pair of shooting glasses? Um, if you do you will get a real high quality and premium feel with going with the Pila. Um, if not, I think the Castellani ones is a really, really great alternative for less than half the price. You still get that quality feel, you get uh, the same setup, the same specification with the three button lenses. Um, so I have no problem re recommending any one of these glasses. So if you ask me what my personal preference would be for my setup with the four lenses, the frame and the optical insert, I would probably, uh, and it was a tough decision, I would probably lean towards the Castellani one. Um, mostly because it's uh, less than half the price. Still a lot of money with $585, but at least it's not $1,450. Um, and I also like the way uh, or the shape of the lens, um, the way it's cut and the way it fits my face. And this will obviously be different uh, when you have a uh, different sized uh, or different shaped 
uh, phase. Um, so having said that, no problems recommending Pila. Uh, my personal preference, uh, leaning towards the Castellani, uh, much because of price and the shape of the lens.